Hello, welcome back to the Olden Shot. It's been a little while. Um, I've had a couple of weeks away from photography. Um, we've taken our caravan out of storage, cleaned it, maintained it, prepped it, ready for hopefully a few trips during the course of this uh, late spring and summer. Um, I did then managed to get out with the camera. There's uh, two trips. Uh, the first one was with my niece and her two daughters, my grandnieces, and uh, wanted to take some photos of that day out. And um, yesterday we had a trip to the beach at a place called Colliwell Bay, which has an interesting rock feature called Charlie's Garden. Strange name but the rock used to be attached to the mainland and had soil and a chap called Charlie had a garden on top. Not possible now, as you will see in the photographs. For the event, or uh, the initial event, the, the day out with the uh, family I thought long and hard trying to decide what would be the best camera for um, shooting and then I thought just go fully automatic so you don't have to think just point and shoot so I took the Konica Z up 70 loaded it with Kentmere 400 which probably wasn't the best choice and uh, off we went when the film was finished yesterday I developed the Kentmere 400 in Microfen if you've watched previous videos you'll know that I haven't really enjoyed Kentmere 400 developed in Microfen and this was no different. I don't think it's a very good combination at all. Um, the photos took a little bit of attention in Lightroom. Very grainy. And um, even though I slightly underdeveloped the film this time, mainly because it's such nice weather at the minute, I struggled to get the temperature of my chemicals down to 20 degrees centigrade. So instead of 15 minutes, I developed the film for 14 and a half. Still came out um, quite dense, the negatives, but they scanned. And um, I was able to uh, work them in Lightroom but the grain uh, tells me it wasn't the best choice of film certainly for um, shooting the, the, the girls and uh, it's certainly not a good film and develop a combination for shooting landscapes. Let's have a look at the photos and then I'll tell you what I think.
conclusion from the photographs that film no more microfen I've only got a little bit left and I'm not even going to use it it's just going to be discarded I've already got my next developer which uh, I've gone back to Ilfatech LC29 which I've uh, been very happy with when I've used it so I certainly get on better with liquid developers and uh, find the whole process a lot easier and um, although I liked the Ilford ID11 um, the liquid developers just it cuts out one process I don't have to mix powder and water um, I've just got to uh, do my standard dilution, dilution. the Ilfotec LC29 is um, quite economical it uh, the normal dilution is one part chemical to 19 parts water you can't even make it uh, more economical as the name suggests LC29 you can mix it with uh, one part chemical to 29 parts water but I've uh, been happy with the results at uh, 1 plus 19 so that will be what my next films are developed in. So that's it. Um, looking forward to getting out uh, with the caravan to some interesting locations. And uh, of course you'll see the photographs as and when it happens. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.